on EA's part. Now, following the reception of Battlefield 2042, yeah. EA and DICE went through some serious restructuring of how the IP... I, I mean, listen, man, if they do not go through some serious restructuring, then I don't know about this one, Kaji. ...was being handled. From all the information we've gathered, it seems DICE is being removed from the lead development role. And instead, oh my those God. duties are being handed off to the FPS legend Vince Ampella in the brand new studio known as Holy. Ripple Effect, who had worked on... Do you, guys, do you guys have faith in Ripple Effect or yeah or nay? Battlefield 2042's Portal Mode. So according to EA, Ripple Effect is in the process of crafting the new Battlefield multiplayer experience while another brand new studio based out of Seattle led by Marcus Leto, one of EA's yeah. main creatives, will be focusing on a new... Man, this is such a shame, dog, because this portal mode was so good, though. It hyped us all up like crazy. I still remember, you know, the leaks of it. I remember when they teased it. I also remember when the, the first day when Tom Henderson came out and actually said that we're going to be having Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 maps. I made a video on it. A lot of people were excited. Some people didn't want to believe. And I mean, damn, I don't blame those people. But then we got this trailer. The trailer hit. Suckers were shaking. Suckers were excited. And uh, after that, we all know what happened, right? Like, this this what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Minus 96%. 2.1. User score 1.8 rating. I did give it 4.2. I mean, I, don't, I cannot even believe it. And fast forward to now, we got new information, which we're going to dive in. Guys, like and subscribe if you're brand new. Even Battlefield officially came out. And this is that. So, yes, season 7 for Battlefield 2042 will be in your hands in March. So, they're going to be having a new season. And Suckers are excited right now. Suckers shaking. But the biggest thing here is this, right? Electronic Arts also did confirm EA. They also confirmed they're going to have their investor call on January the 30th, 2024. Oh. Which means that they're gonna reveal their upcoming plans, they're gonna announce it, and uh, maybe they're gonna actually talk about this upcoming game because they already have multiple times. Story experience for the franchise, although it's unclear exactly what that's going to look like. We never got attached to Battlefield campaigns like we did the Call of Duty characters. We just yeah, didn't. True. So right now, DICE true, is in true, limbo true. because Battlefield has been taken away from them and their general manager left the company shortly after this game. He was replaced quick. How many of you guys actually care for the campaign? I mean, the recent Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I mean, bruh, bruh. that's all I gotta say. Like, that was F all, though. Like, they literally killed their franchise. I mean, Battlefield has a perfect opportunity. It also had a perfect opportunity when Van Garbage, I mean, Call of Duty Vanguard first came out. This game had the perfect opportunity to steal players. I mean, Call of Duty players were like, hey, man, take me away, uh, Battlefield. Take me away. I'm down. I, I want to be that call of duty refugee on your game bro i wanna play your game and they flop so badly now there are circles that are actually liking the game i always love the gunplay of battlefield 2042 but people are saying it's good but people are still saying it's not good and yeah i mean it's kind of mixed right now but the next battlefield game i mean this is do or die right now for them. by former ubisoft executive so dice is still alive we have no clue what they're doing or what they're working on personally I'm of the opinion that a number of DICE employees are going to end up moving over to Ripple Effect, and it's also very possible that DICE is brought in as a support st Hopefully they're not working on these skins, ladies and gentlemen. I do not want to see no Woody Boys, boys. <laughs> Studio for the franchise, similar to how Raven Software is best known today as a Call of Duty support developer. But from everything we know, DICE will not be in charge of Battlefield 6. Instead... It will be the brainchild of Vince Zampella, the same man who gave us COD 4, yeah. Titanfall, and oh the original God. Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> so hopefully that leads to something amazing. Vince has never let me down before. I think he's the perfect true, fit for the reset. True. Now. I mean, do we believe in Vince? Yeah or no, boys? Do we believe him? Like and subscribe if you're brand new and you have hope for this upcoming game. Uh, you may want to write all this off as just a Jimmy being optimistic or overly hopeful. And you may think Battlefield is completely dead in the water and it's never going to be revived. But ultimately, I, I do think that if the, yeah, Sigas always say that, right? Like it's dead, right? It's, uh, it's completely gone. And although it might be true for the moment, but I genuinely believe that if the next game is good, people are going to be back playing the game. It doesn't matter what game it is, okay? It can be Fortnite Yo Mama or something like that. If the game is good, people are going to be on it. Lethal Company, for example, right? I heard only one dev actually worked on it. I did not play, but I heard about it, right? Because the word of mouth got spread. You know, even my real life homies are playing the game. I just don't have time to play that game. I don't have time to try, but I heard 
it's an amazing game and people are loving it that's what i'm talking about so if you say battlefield is dead yeah you can say battlefield 2042 is dead uh, for the player count or maybe not i mean if you're gonna compare that with modern warfare 3 i heard about uh, battlefield 2042 is thriving though in comparison to modern warfare 2023 i mean damn that's crazy the point that i'm trying to make here is that is if this upcoming game is good people are gonna be on it we're gonna be on it everybody's gonna talk about it okay no matter how bad or how uh badly the franchise has fallen doesn't matter if the next game is good people are gonna buy it maybe the sales might not be good in the beginning but if the game is good word of mouth is gonna spread around and then everybody's jump gonna jump on and same goes for call of duty because this year's call of duty is so bad we're looking forward to the next call of duty game and hoping it's good because it's gonna be treyarch's here but when is this game gonna come out 2024 or 2025 ea needs it they need a shooter this is something we've talked about a few times on the channel. EA needs something to compete with Call of Duty, especially since Microsoft just bought Activision yeah. and is likely going to be making some major changes to COD in order to bring it out of the Dark Ages. Uh, and I've even seen like Sega say that die. We need PlayStation to buy Battlefield. We need PlayStation to buy EA. Uh, I don't know, man. Do they have the money? Because Suckers always say that, but they don't have the money. They don't have the money. Uh, they have the money, but I don't think they have the money uh, to spend on EA. And also, you gotta factor in this, right? Does EA want to be bought out or not? But it would absolutely be insane if we one day figure out, we wake up and we figure out that PlayStation, Sony, they bought EA. That would be insane, though, because Activision xbox xbox got activision and then playstation would have ea right that would be absolutely insane but i don't think it will happen to be EA's honest battlefield was always the number one competitor for call of duty and even though battlefield 2042 completely flopped on its face ea knows they have to mm. capitalize on how vulnerable cod is right now even if it means putting money into another battlefield game because really what other choice do they have well true fall three but that's a video for another day yeah now some of yeah, hey, hey. Now, I know some of my Titanfall uh, homies would be like, Skizzle, how dare you actually call it, man? Nah, I, I never really played, so I'm not even hating on the game. I'm just saying it's not, uh, it does not entrust me, okay? You guys, come on, man. Just like there are a lot of games, just like how Peppa the Pig does not entrust you, simply put, that game doesn't entrust me, okay? So I truly do hope that we get this upcoming Battlefield game first. And I hope it's good, right? I really hope it's good. But knowing the fact that we're gonna be getting Call of... Oh, not Call of... Yeah, Call of Duty in 2024. But GTA 6 in 2025 might be early 2025. Might be late 2025. They might even delay it to 2026. We do not know. But uh, I do think it's gonna be early realistically. But they can always delay if that's the case, when is this Battlefield game gonna come out? Because I'm, it, it seems very, very hard for me to see this game come out by the end of 2024. Although it's possible, very much possible. I think this January 30th stream that's gonna happen, I'll surely live stream on the channel, so like and subscribe. I, I got you. If they do not say much about the next Battlefield game, I do believe they're gonna say a little bit, right? Like, because they have already talked about this Battlefield game almost a year ago that it's in development, so we do know they are working on it. Even if they never said anything, we know they're working on it, okay? Bruh. Let's be real, that's how the Mafia works, Ted Muffins. So, uh, we know that it's in the works officially as well. Uh, if, if they announce it during this investor call, and if they talk a lot more about it, I would in be inclined to believe that maybe it's going to come out by the end of 2024. And I truly hope it does, because anything that comes out after GTA 6 or around it, it's just going to be dead in the water. Nobody's going to play it. Nobody's going to talk about it. At least the first two, three months of GTA 6, that's going to be critical, though. Nobody should release their game. If somebody releases their game, it's just Joe over for them. Because GTA 6, listen, man, it's going to be a behemoth. It's going to be a massive game. Everybody's going to be on it. I'm going to be on it. That's the only game that I'll stream. That's the only game that I'll make content for for at least the foreseeable future when that game comes out. I'll obviously, GTA, Call of Duty, Battlefield, PlayStation, Xbox, we be covered the news uh, for all these games and for these platforms. But let's be real, man. Once GTA 6 drops, it's Joe over for everybody suggested else. that in order to fill the premium FPS gap in EA's schedule, Respawn is going to get us Titanfall 3 out to the public. I don't realistically think that's happening. I don't, I don't think that's reality. Respawn Entertainment is a moderately sized studio. They're currently working on maintaining Apex Legends, and they have the Star Wars FPS in the works, and they recently started production on a sequel to Jedi Survivor. Is Apex still thriving? And what about what about Star Wars? Though? And I never they have keep a Star Wars-themed strategy game. 
I never Simply kept no up. way they could get Titanfall 3 finished within the next couple years. But the new Battlefield team is ready to go. And as far as we know, DICE has a pretty clear development schedule. They're not yeah, working we... on Star Wars Battlefront 3. Oh, They're damn. slowing down support on Battlefield 2042. And it's very likely that... Uh, they would be like, uh, well, uh, hold my beer, man. We got another season coming out. Although it's after a very long time and it's going to be coming out in March. So that's still like three-ish months away by the time uh, I'm making this video. Maybe it's like already out by the time you're making this video. If we are in 2024... Did they actually reveal the next Battlefield game? Let, let me know in the comments, boys. The plans for the next Battlefield if you're watching started almost immediately upon 2042's release because EA and DICE both knew they would need a refresh as soon as possible because ultimately, you can update Battlefield 2042 a million times, fix all the problems with it, but there will always be that sizable chunk of the community that does not care anymore. EA needs a new Battlefield to hit the market, take another mm -hmm. swing at bringing the community together, and capitalize on the great brand recognition before it loses all relevance and yeah. before Call of Duty pulls itself out of the dark ages if it does. BF6 is coming. I think it, it is coming and guys click on this video on the screen because we had insane amount of gameplay leaks and official news about GTA 6. This game is absolutely gonna kill it though whenever it drops. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.